myth. Vaccines are unsafe, and that is why there were no pregnant women in the trials. So pregnant women and children aren't usually included in initial trials, um, and therefore the COVID vaccine isn't currently recommended in most children. Um, with regards to the guidance on pregnant women, this is based on an individual uh, decision on their risk. So it doesn't really mean that the vaccine isn't safe in these groups. It just means that it's more reflective of the fact that they weren't part of the main clinical trials. Uh, and so therefore a sign of safety protocols and procedures being in place. Myth. The COVID vaccine ingredients are haram. The truth about it. The Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine contains no animal ingredients at all. Declaring a product halal or haram is a call for the Islamic scholars who have studied on this for years. And the simple presence of a particular ingredient is not the only factor taken into account. Most previous vaccines, including the Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine, have been declared halal by the majority of scholarly bodies worldwide. Myth. The vaccine may modify your DNA. Vaccines are incapable of changing our DNA, and this is no different for the COVID vaccines. In fact, vaccines work by alerting our immune system to a virus so that we can prepare our soldiers and our shields so that if we come into contact with that virus, we can protect ourselves and not become ill with the virus. The vaccines are incapable of changing our DNA because they do not come into contact with our DNA in any way, shape or form. And if we take the mRNA vaccine as an example, less than two weeks after having had the vaccine, the mRNA is broken down and removed from the body. So vaccines are incapable of changing our DNA and they are safe and they are effective.